today we're not unboxing just one doll, but two dolls. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to Dolls Unbox, where I unbox dolls and do doll makeovers. Today we have Draculaura and Twyla Monster High Fairbook dolls. These are the new Gen 3 Fairbook dolls and I am going to unbox them with you. I didn't get Torlai because I simply did not like her. So let's get them out of the box and review them. And here we have Twyla. Let's go over her and see what we can see. She has the teal and purple signature Twyla hair. It's super soft. It is not as curly as usually, so it's not as tangly, which is nice. She has two black bed bug clips in her hair. We have seen something like this in earring form. Uh, yep. They are using their designs. She has some purple earrings. I have no idea what they are. She is articulated around the neck, the chest, the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist, her hip and knee. She is wearing a very cute purple dress with a white and pink, no, not pink, purple tulle collar with a black bow and on top of her purple dress is a black swirl and bed bug print and it's like an a-line dress and it has some ruffles at the bottom as well she is wearing a blue hourglass bracelet i think we have seen this as well in previous designs ah, they could have done something different i suppose and why is it blue why is it not purple or black or white her shoes are a, I don't know what these are. They just look like very fancy frilly shoes. They remind me a little bit of the Ever After High Alice in Wonderland teacup shoes, but they're not teacups. And they are teal and they have a purple bow. See, this blue just stands out to me. Uh, it should have been a teal. Um, why is that not a teal? Anyway, her makeup, she has a teal eyebrows and then she has a uh, a teal pink purple teal gradient at the top and the bottom of her lash line and she has teal eyes she has a shiny purple lip and is just very very pretty um yeah let's move on to her accessories for her accessories we have the fair book it says fair book monster high with the monster high logo twyla and has some spider webs on the sides and then inside we see Twyla with an image of her and her little pet rabbit. And it says Board Games Club on the right. And then we have another picture of Dustin, her with Gulia, herself and Laguna. And this is the back. It says Creeperific Monster High with a bat and sparkles. We have some scary looking biscuits um or cookies however you want to call them with an eyeball a spider and some ghosts we have seen this design for twyla before as well we have some boo crisp cookies this is great for playability then we have the character card for her board game D, &D club i suppose um, this is just a piece of card cardstock with a character card she also comes with a varsity jacket it is a soft material almost like a velvet but a cheaper this is almost like a flannel kind of material and it's dark purple with black kind of smoke effects on it uh her sleeves are like a satin material with dark teal also smoke kind of pattern and it is hemmed with an elastic hem at the sleeves at the bottom of the jacket and her neckline and um, the best 
part of this whole playset is the actual playset that comes with it. So it, it is like a board game, like a D&D board game with tiles, two play bunny figurines, two dice, and this castle. The castle is removable and it's made from this soft plastic. And at the bottom it says belongs to Twyla. I love that little detail there. And for those of you who want to compare, this is Viridescent Twyla. This is G3 Base Twyla. And then this is the Twyla we have in the Fear book. So here are the different faces of her. You can also see that the Viridescent Twyla had more blue hair. And it's not as soft as with the other two Twyla dolls. Before I give my final opinion on this doll, I want to move on to unboxing Dracula. So let's do that. Before I give my final opinion on this doll, let's move on to unboxing Dracula. Let's have a look at Draculaura. Okay, we start with this massive hat that's on our head. I am not a big fan of these plastic hats. We have seen this before. I am just not a big fan. And her hair is really soft and it feels like Saran hair. Let me just go ahead and remove her hat for now. She has hat hair. Um, it is well rooted though, I have to give them that. So um, this probably just needs a boil wash and then it should be fine. But for now, let's just leave the hat off because, you know, I'm not a big fan. Her hair is nice. It does have some products in it here. Um, but other than that, it feels really soft. She does have a fringe that goes the other way this time. And she still has that V-shape hairline, but that's all with the fringe there. She has heart-shaped earrings that look like dripping hearts in bright pink. And she also has a necklace collar with studs and a little heart. She is wearing a black jacket, which is really, really cool. It is a faux leather matte material with a shiny spiderweb print on it. And the front collar is uh, well, our bed wings. Um, I think this design is really, really neat. And uh, yeah, I hope to see more of this in the future. She wears a light pink top and a light pink skirt. It is a two piece and they both have the same pattern on them. It is covered in black hearts and other pink frilly hearts with some sparkles along there as well. And at the bottom of the skirt is a zigzag fringe and bows on the side of a skirt. It is gathered on the sides and we have seen something like this for Cleo in the past. The top has spaghetti straps and both the skirt and the top close in the back with velcro and the top has a heart ribbon running across the middle there. Her shoes are trainers. They are light pink with a bright pink bow at the front and a spiderweb motif all the way. And at the bottom we have some heart bats and heart designs. Didn't even look for Twyla. We have an hourglass. I love that design. Her eyebrows are black with details and her eyeshadow is a magenta and underneath we have a purple with a magenta and her eyes themselves are dark purple with a pink. She has a small black heart on her cheek and a bright pink lip. She's articulated around the neck, the waist, the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist, her hip and her knee. And that is it for the doll really. And um, let's have a look at her accessories. She comes with a, a director bright pink megaphone. I like that, it's nice for playing. We have a small skelet skull which I believe is meant to be a prop for her theater productions. We have a clapboard in uh, black and it has some drips and it looks like teeth. And it says scene take a role date director Draculaura and camera ghoul. And it has a little skelet and at the back it has a 
spiderweb design. We have the fear book. It is the same as Twyla's, but it just says Draculaura. Same colors and everything. On the inside, it says Draculaura and it has an image of her. It says Drama Club, additions at 3 a.m., Draculaura action, and all the props that come with it. The back is the same. So here you have the comparison between the two. So Board Games Club and Drama Club. Then we also have a, a script of The Cursed Bat. And it is, it is there, you can actually read it. So I hope that if I do this, you can read it for yourself. Of course, we have her hat. She comes with a black and pink varsity jacket. It has the same material as Twilight's, almost the same. I think Draculaurus is a little bit more fluffy and this is a bit more like that flannel stuff. This is a bit more fluffy, um, but this, this part here, but the print part is more like the flannel. So that's black and pink hearts. And on the other side, it says it has a logo for the drama club and the sleeves are a black satin. And then the final piece is this tripod with a phone. This has great playability. The phone can be removed. Of course, we have seen Draculaura's phone before. And the skelet ring light can also be removed. So you can just use it as a tripod if you wanted to. I think that's great playability. Let's have a look at what I think of these dolls, the set in, in total and the price point as well. My final thoughts on these dolls are they are very cute and they are very much on point as far as it goes aesthetics wise. However, the price point is a bit high. 45 for these dolls and usually you pay 39 for the base dolls and 49 for the Sculptimate Secret dolls. So they are a little bit on the higher price point. I don't know if they are a special collector's edition. I don't think so. Australia is the first to get them. So that is a nice thing to have here for a change. They are cute, but I think they could have been priced at the usual $39. All in all, I do like these dolls. I wish Twyla had a different colored bracelet. And I do not like the hat that came for Draculaura, but all the rest is absolutely wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and if you like this kind of content make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye!